guys, I'm Katrina, makeup and hair artist with the Artistry Collective. Today I'm here with the team at Davy and Chio, as well as our lovely model Naomi West. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to style a drop veil, as well as some accessories that look great with it. The beauty of the drop veil is in both its simplicity and versatility, as it can be worn in a number of ways. Most popular being unsecured like so, because it gives a lovely cascading effect. The benefit of styling a drop veil is that it can be worn with many halo type accessories, such as the Zosha halo from the lovely ladies at Davian Chio. Um, it can be worn either over or under the veil. My personal favorite is being over the veil because of the added benefit of securing it in place a little bit. I should just mention that depending on the length and the weight of your veil and its trim, it might not be enough to just have the halo, so definitely take it for a test run before your big day. For functional purposes, it's best to secure the drop veil with a pair of veil pins. This would be best if you have somebody who can help you out or do it for you. To secure the drop veil with the pins, what you'll want to do is first place the veil where you want it to sit. The pins should sit at the back of the head. We've already got one in here. And to put them in, what you want to do is weave them in and then out of the hair like so. Just be careful when you're doing it. And then secure it with the cap so the pin doesn't slip off. Typically, these pins will stay a little bit better if they're put into a bun or half up to, something that you can really hold it in place with. Once you've set your veil in place, you can now flip it over and begin adding accessories. So we're gonna be using the Liv and Senna hairpins from Davy and Chio. I'm gonna start off by backcombing the hair so that it adds a little bit for the pins to grab onto. So just keep in mind when you're styling your accessories, which way you'll be facing once you're at the end of the aisle. So you can make sure that your accessories are shown to your guests and then the photographer will grab those photos. So now we've got a little bit of back combing in, we can pop those pins in place. Now that you've got your hair accessories in place, you can flip the veil back over and you're ready to walk down the aisle. The third way to style your veil is in the mantilla fashion. The mantilla veil was traditionally worn and made popular by Spanish royalty. Today, it's making a comeback in bridal fashion as an uber romantic way to style your veil. What you'll want to do is place the lace trim just across the hairline like so. And then as we had done before, you would want to secure it in the back of the head with pins. Just keep in mind that this is a little less practical of a way of styling your veil because the lace is not completely secure, so it's still able to move around freely. So this style might be best suited for photos. Once you've figured out which way or ways you wanna wear your veil for your wedding, just ensure that you have somebody there with you who's able to remove the veil without ruining your lovely hairstyle. In lieu of the veil, you might wanna add in some hair pins or accessories to jazz it up a little bit. The veil that we've been using today is the Brioni Veil from Davy and Shield. Thank you guys so much for watching and leave us a comment below if you have any questions. See you later.